Hi everyone, Steve Harvell with Creative Ventures and welcome to the latest edition in our monthly Over Coffee video series. Every year, companies and individuals ask themselves a very singularly important question. How do we get better? That's the driving force for companies that are on a path of improvement. They want to know what do I do? And once they define what they do, they want to know how do I do it? It's a big question. And if you attack it in its macro format, you're not going to get it done. But think about it in terms of small steps. Um, in order to think process, you need to have a systemic approach to it. It doesn't matter what it is. Uh, if you're going to be a better public speaker or I, I need to learn how to think better. If you're going to do that, let me give you a couple of steps in a process or a system that can help you. The first is what's called the rule of two thirds. So think about any new subject like this. I study it a third of the time, but I apply it. I do it two thirds of the time. See, that's how the brain works. At the beginning, it's gaining new knowledge to form new neural pathways. But if those pathways are to stick in the brain, they have to be applied to the physical aspect of doing whatever it aspect of it is. Then if you've got that formula in place and you're doing one third and two thirds, you kind of say, where am I on this trip of improvement? Whether it's a company looking at the client experience or it's an individual looking at better thinking and communication skills. If you're improving at a low 30 percentile, let's say, that's probably flailing around. It's a little too simple too much for you. But if you're at 95%, it's probably something that's too easy. So you're looking for some type of a legendary sweet spot. Um, how much am I improving? And a really nice point is this 60 to 80% element. After doing for a while, you should be in that format of improvement. Anything lower, it's probably not worth flailing around around. And anything more than that, it's probably too simple and you're not challenging yourself enough. So now, if you've got a two thirds, one third, and you're looking for the improvement area of 60 to 80%, you need to have some type of a specificity around what you're doing. You can't do a bunch of things and apply that, right? You have to have a single solitary goal, a singularity. Um, it's the application of the good old one thing at a time. So what kind of a methodology would suit you? Well, you need to track it. It needs to be measured. I don't believe necessarily that if you're not measuring it, you can't get better at it. But this is a thing when you're looking for improvement that measurement skills come into play. In golfing, you get handicaps. You enter your score and it shows you how you're progressing as far as the skill sets of that insane game goes. It doesn't matter, but here's one of the things you need to figure out is how do I record all of this? Think about writing things down. We've talked about this over and over again, the superpower of writing things down. I don't care whether you're using an electronic device or you're old school with pencil and paper, but you need a methodology to be able to see how that one third, two third, and that 60 to 80 percentile is actually happening. And lastly, you need a check engine light. Because as you're recording all of this time, you need to go back and say, I'm checking on this every whatever your time frame is, every two weeks, every month. We're going to measure against all of the things that we're doing to see where our improvement level is. It's not a complex question. How do we get better? The pathway to it isn't that difficult if you take it in small incremental steps. Um, you need a singular goal attached to a simple process. Follow that, you'll add skills. As a company, follow that, and you'll see the entire client base moving forward with you. You see, that's how you build a better company. That's how you build a better career. You move forward. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time on Over Coffee.